No, we're not seizing anything. We're cowboy fans, remember? We, ain't. we do nothing. That's I can't believe. Good thing. Phil. I, I, I can't believe I sat here for two hours for nothing. <laughs> nothing. Come up with hoodies. We ain't seizing shit. <laughs> Micah's podcast fitting to be on fire. Well, it's a good thing it's Carpe, not today. Carpe nada. Cowboys getting destroyed on Sunday. Okay. Carpe nada. Oh, for Saturday. Okay, Ron. You know what the worst thing about this is? <clears throat> before we get out of here. Yeah. Think about this for a second. Oh, you're gonna make me sadder, aren't you? No, I, no. I, yeah, actually, you know, <laughs> Dak Prescott. No, hold on. Just hold on for a second here. My quarterback, Dak Prescott, gets blamed for everything. You know, we look oh, at guys. It's his fault. You're right. You're no, right. Th- you see, this this is the problem: is the Joneses won't do anything to try and help the team, right? You saw with Matthew Stafford, you know, they said, let's go out. You know, we got great wide receivers like Cooper Cuff and Jefferson and, and all this stuff. Let's go out and get an Odell to make sure that he's got enough, right? You know, you look at, um, you know, Buffalo going out and getting a Stefan Diggs and things and adding Von Miller to their team, right? The Cowboys do nothing. And what happens? Everybody says, well, Dak sucks. Dak's not yeah. not the one. Dak's not good enough to win. He can't overcome. He can't overcome because he's not getting. Look what they did for Jalen Hurts. They said, we don't know if this guy is the guy who could lead us. Let's draft a wide receiver in the first round. They got Devontae Smith. Let's go out here, get him a bunch of running backs. Let's get him a great offensive line. Oh, and let's get A.J. Brown, who's looking like the second best wide receiver in football. Let's put all these things in here, okay? And and then they're not done. And then they say, okay, you know, Miles Sanders was pretty good, but let's get, you know, Swift in here, right? They're constantly trying to do everything they can to support their quarterback, to help him achieve. I honestly can't see what the Cowboys do to support the quarterback. When they fail him, he's the one that takes the blame, not them. That's the craziest shit out here. Everybody, whenever we lose, it's always Dak, 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 Dak. But it's Jerry and Steven, Jerry and Steven that aren't putting in the work to get the shit done. And that people, I don't know how you can't see that. I don't know how you can't see other teams constantly trying to bring in more talent. And all we do is freaking draft and bring in guys that are old. Don Terry Poe, remember that? Like you just remind you, you, you brought me. Thanks, Phil. Thanks a lot, Phil. You just brought me back with the whole Don Terry Poe and um, what's his name from Tampa Bay, Gerald McCoy. We bring in old guys past their prime when they're dirt cheap and they're named players that you remember. Oh, Don Terry Poe. He was a great defensive tackle there at one time. He comes in here and he's fat overweight and can't do shit i probably could have plugged the middle better than don terry poe could have and when we just say well dak sucks that's what pisses me off anthony barr yeah anthony barr after an acl hell let's bring that guy let's bring in james washington who hasn't done jack crap after getting rid of amari cooper and say well dak prescott can't do it He's not good enough. And you have guys like Noah freaking Brown as your number two leading receiver. And we look and we point and we say, Dak, you suck. Come on, man. Dak delusional fan says, Come on. one of those few quarterbacks that has two number one receivers. What else does he need? Number one at ha- what age? Offensive line. Offensive line. Let's see, like again, the, 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 there's my case and point right there. Dak delusional fan. Oh, well, Dak Prescott's got two number one receivers. Okay, Brandon Cook is not a spring chicken any longer. He's got C.D. Lamb. Yes, C.D. is good. What else does he have with him? Do we have a number one offensive line out there like Jalen Hurts has? No. Does he have a, an incredible receiver along with him? Does he have an incredible tight end to go with it? Does he actually have a good play caller? How about that one? What more do you need? How about a great play caller? That's what I'd love to have. How about that? How about having a great offensive line? How about having a left tackle that that every week you're not wondering, is he going to be able to go? Is he going to be able to make it through the whole damn game? And this points back to Jerry Jones. Not the quarterback. But nobody holds him responsible. 
We sit here and go for the bullshit of, oh, you know, we're open for business. You know, we're, we're, we're going to trade here. We're, you know, we're, we're just waiting for people to call us. about Waiting for people to call you. That's like, a woman, that's like sitting at home waiting for women to call you to say, hey, I'd like to take you out and blank your brains out. How often does your phone ring for that to happen? It doesn't happen. You got to go out there if you want that to happen. You got to make moves. You got to make phone calls. You have to put in some effort and some work. Okay? Yes. Okay. Now, I look, look, I didn't got Brian scared over here. He's Last like, okay. Year we John Woodsway out. But we oh, hold on geez. To Junior Fajoko for what? Yes. I just want to add to your misery. There you go. Yeah. John Ridgeway. Yeah, you, you drafted a good guy on the defensive line, and you end up letting him go on waivers in the same way you did with um, uh, 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 the linebacker this year. Okay? And, and no one was short on linebackers. This is some inept bull crap that's going on here with the Cowboys. Yeah, and, of course, late, we all say, heavy. it's all Dak Prescott. If we just got rid of Dak, we would win the Super Bowl. No, we wouldn't. No, yeah, we wouldn't. Say, it's some bull jiggity. But at the same time, what is their ranking? It isn't, you know, he, you, you're talking about a quarterback that won a national title. What do you mean, Joe Burrow? One. That was a fourth round draft pick. It's yeah, like, he's saying yeah. that we have a top five offensive line still in the league. Oh, you, that who is smoking? Somebody is smoking crack. You, they think we have a top five offensive line. Oh, yeah, and, and okay, I tell you ranking. what. I, I tell you what, hold it. Let's back this up here. If. Everybody were healthy in our offensive line. I would agree that we would be a top five offensive line. But how many games has Mozzie Smith missed this year? How, how many games has Mozzie Smith missed? Two? How many games has Zach Martin missed? One? Be honest, I think he missed one or two. Right? We had two rookie undrafted free agents starting the line. How many games has Tyron Smith missed this year? Four? Did he, did he play in one? Oh. Okay. Yes. So, yes, on paper, you're starting offensive line. If they were healthy and playing together, yes, they could be a top five. But we've had like six different offensive line setups. Guys, come on. This is the crap that people – people are always going to find a reason to say, oh, he's got a top five offensive line. That's bull crap. We all know that's bull crap. But, hey – such as life of being a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber, Brian. I'm, I, I don't know about it. you, man. We covered nothing, and and we but we had a great. We've done exactly it's what it's Jerry Seinfeld. Jones has. We've done nothing. It's Seinfeld all over again. This is an episode nothing of nothing for you. It's That's nothing. Not nothing for you. We're like the soup Nazi of Dallas Cowboys content creators. We've given you nothing except a good time, right? No trades um, for you. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is, people. Um, prime time. I had your link up here. Thank you very much. I'm what sorry. Are we, I, uh, I don't know if I did it right. I know, you know, if I did it, and we can show me how to do that no, up there. I know. I know. But well, I think I did it right. I appreciate you two guys. I appreciate everybody that's Mark, listening to me in here. Right. Oh, saving the best the for Godfather. the Godfather. Uh, You're the Godfather. Gonna make him an offer they can't refuse. You know. Is, <laughs> you make him see the country. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, what do you have going on, Phil and Mark as well? What do you guys? I'm sure Mark will have what three, four more videos the rest of the day. So you fire it up. I'm gonna go cry in my pillow. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do some work with some wood. And then Phil, we got a broadcast coming up, correct? Yeah, we're gonna be. Uh, well, we're gonna be changing some times. I think. Uh, let's yeah, we're gonna bump uh, our times back here. a little bit. Yeah, I, I can't get home like, in time anymore. Yeah, okay. I, I got some workload, so it's like well, most likely we'll go toward 8 o'clock uh, for our broadcast. But either way, we're going to be bringing something to you. And then, uh, you know, whether Thursday night football is still up in the air. Yeah, I, I have to figure that out. Uh, just real quick, everybody that reached out to me, um, I'll, be, I'll be at the hospital by 7 30 at the latest tomorrow morning my buddy goes in for surgery best of luck. Best of wish. he has a, he's he's 56 uh he has a, a triple bypass there's actually four arteries younger than me block, but um two of them are kind of like right next to each other said so they only call it a triple i don't know i'm not a doctor but he has a very low risk even though he's a bigger guy so that's good yeah i talked to the uh, the surgeon you know that's earlier good. today 
So we got to be there to make all the calls. God forbid something, you know, we need something to think on the fly. Mm -hmm. So thank you for all the well wishes. Um, you'll be seeing me. Uh, I'll do a video tomorrow at some point. Um, so uh, okay. You know, other than that, uh, go Cowboys. I'm sorry. Go we someplace. I will uh, talk to everybody later. Let me give you a good. Uh, all right. Up. And I'm going to mute that. All right. Good people. I am going to get right. out of here. I'll talk to everybody. And later. I will see you soon. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters.